Hi, this is Wei from Applicable UX. In our latest Applicable UX release, we have introduced some new and exciting functionality. Join me and let's explore what new features version 2.5 brings to the game. One of our biggest enhancements for 2.5 is making Applico grids more Excel-like. You can now insert rows and columns and even write formulas on the fly. Once you toggle into edit mode, you'll see rows and column headers very reminiscent of Excel. Now, if you right-click on the column header, you see the options to insert new columns or hide the existing one. Once we insert a new column, we can write a formula and drag it down. Notice in this table, we can even write these formulas on a stacked year version dimension which simplifies the number of TM1 rules you need to write and maintain. Notice also that you can insert rows and write percent of total formulas into them. You might also have noticed the new Save button on tables. This button will publish any inserted rows, columns, and formula to the current page. Grid tables are also more interactive. Each column header now has an Excel-like filter, which gives users a quick way to filter the data using conditions on any combination of columns. With top X, we can filter by top or bottom items. By using percent instead of item, I can quickly see only the lines that comprise a certain percent of the total to limit my view to those items that are material. I can also apply the familiar Excel filter options on the values themselves. All of my active filters are listed at the top, so I can quickly remove one or all of them. Version 2.5 also makes charts more interactive by offering the ability to drill through to lower levels. In this tree map, we have countries rolling up to regions, and we are able to seamlessly toggle between the different levels. We can do the same with the pie chart and drill down on each consolidation level on the dimension until we get down to the lowest level element. On this bar chart, we can drill down from the full year to the respective month of any particular region. Best of all, the ability to drill works directly out of the box as long as you have consolidation level set up on the dimension. And if you don't need this, disabling is just one click away. We also have enhanced some of our existing widgets to improve their flexibility. The variance table now has a toggle to switch between showing the variance and the dollar value. Remember that this widget can take TM1 source data without variance rules and calculate the variance on the fly directly in the widget. We also have a useful new waterfall chart, which helps visualize variance drivers along one single dimension. This chart is useful in situations such as when we want to see how we arrive at net income, starting with revenue. You also have some additional flexibility to swap the sign of the data, 
since revenue and expense lines can often come in with different signage. Based on the attributes, we can specify which bar we want to move in a downward versus upward direction. Finally, the building experience has been revamped to add an intermediate step so we can preview and decide whether we want to commit the changes to a page. After we add a new step to this wizard, you'll notice that the Save or Discard buttons on the top header. If we exit from Edit View, we'll notice that the step is no longer there. All changes made in Edit View are stored in a temporary space and are not active until we click on Save. Let's look at what happens when we create a new page. I'm going to duplicate the income statement page. Notice after I do that, the pen icon next to the page indicates that this page is not yet published. Only after I click on the Publish button is the page visible to other users. This intermediate step in edit mode should reduce accidental mistakes while building and offers a sandbox to test out any changes we want to experiment with. Are you excited about these new features in Applico UX? I look forward to showing you more info about future releases soon. Find out more by visiting the Applica website and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content.